and girls, it's math time. Today we have a count by five sheet. This time, however, we're adding the ones place, unlike yesterday where we added the tens place. And this dot to dot by five, and it has a pot on the bottom, and some, it kind of looks like clouds. So find those two papers, grab a pencil, and let's get started. All right, boys and girls, we are going to count by fives. Here we go. Five, ten. What's missing? The zero. Fifteen. Twenty. What's missing? Again, the zero. After twenty comes twenty-five. Thirty. Thirty. Five. Forty. Forty-five. Fifty. Let's look at the pattern we have here, boys and girls, with our ones place. So here's our ones place. Our ones place is going five, then a zero, then a five, then a zero, then a five, then a zero, then a five, zero, five, zero, five. What comes next? If you said zero, you're right. So we have 60, 65. Now it's time for a zero, which would be 70, then 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. So look at those ones places, boys and girls, and notice that pattern. If you need more practice, touch and count by fives one or two more times before you start the next paper. So if you need more practice, hit pause and practice now. If you think I've got this, then it's time to move on. Here we go, we're counting by fives. And so we have to find where five is. Put your pencil on five and here we go. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I'm going to let you finish that up, boys and girls. Then when you get done, remember you need to graph. So after you get all the way to 100, it's time to graph your shapes. How many circles? The way you're going to do it, remember, boys and girls, when you count it, draw a line through it and then make an X. We start down on the bottom with number one. So that's one circle, two circles three circles, whoops, I have to draw my line, four circles, five circles, six circles, seven circles. So there are seven circles on this picture, boys and girls. Next, you're going to do the jewels. The jewel is like a one, we can count the sides, one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's a six-sided shape which would be a hexagon inside a one, two, three, four, five, six. Another hexagon, so it's a hexagon in a hexagon. You're gonna count them, draw a line through them, make it X, and then you're gonna count the little skinny rectangles and do the same. Find out which one has the most, which one has the least. All right, boys and girls, I know you can finish it on your own. If you're not sure what to do, look at yesterday's video where we did the whole thing together. Or ask someone in your family. Have fun with your math. See you next time.